We're living in very, very interesting times. The Bible says we're living in the end days. The rapture could happen any time. Then the tribulation, then the coming of Jesus. It's not a time to be passive. It's not a time to say, que sera, sera, I'm going to do what I want to do with my life. It's a time to be fervent. It's a time to love. It's a time to love God. It's a time to go to services. It's a time to go to Bible school. It's a time to be fervent. It's a time to pray for your families. It's a time to raise up kids. It's a time to, to preach the Bible. It's a time to, to go soul winning and share with your neighbors and your friends who've never heard about Jesus Christ. Oh, listen, the Bible says how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. How beautiful are the feet of those. In Isaiah 52, verse 7, how beautiful are the feet of those who proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, I want you to notice something. It doesn't say that everyone's feet are beautiful. It specifically says that those who are preaching the gospel of Jesus and carrying his message to others, they have very beautiful and blessed feet tonight. And I want to thank God for that. When we walk, and the Bible says when we take out the gospel to Jerusalem, when we go to Judea and Samaria, and we carry it to the uttermost parts of the world, the Bible says in heaven, heaven looks at those feet of those Christians who are doing that, and it says they have beautiful feet, and they will be rewarded one day. I thank God tonight. I thank God that tonight, that even though it's monsoon time, many of you are out talking to people about Jesus. And you can do it in your offices. You can do it in any way you want to. Do it in a hidden way. Do it in an outward way. But thank God for all those who go out and outreach in Grizzly, in Santa Cruz, in Coley Outreaches, in Mayor's Hall. We give our tracts and we just share the gospel. We're on fire because this book is true. The message is true. We need to go for Jesus. The time is short. There is no time to waste. We don't have to wonder in abstract thinking about Christianity. We are focused and we are in love with Jesus Christ and we have a fervency from heaven and our lips are from heaven, our messages from God. And we go by faith and we do what God has told us to do. Did you know that did you know that Aviram got got one tract, Aviram, one of our missionaries, got one tract at Bandstand twelve years ago. He came to Bible college, he got trained in our ministry, and today he's in Lucknow and he has got three to four churches up in the villages. And many Hindus have come, many villages have come to Christ. One gospel tract. And you know that, that Pastor Rajan got saved in Nepal because somebody gave him a New Testament to read and challenged him about Jesus Christ and told him he is the way, the truth, and life. And he said, no, it cannot be. And he read it to prove the person wrong, but he read the Bible, he got convicted, and God spoke to his heart and he came to Christ. And this Hindu now, uh, man, one believer turned pastor is on radio today and he's, he's preaching the gospel across <coughs> Nepal and 40 million potential audience of great uh, that radio program is now going and people across Nepal are hearing the gospel. Did you know that Ganesh got saved because somebody gave him a track, invited him to church and then he got discipled and today he has churches and a prison ministry. Do you know that Dr. Stevens got saved because somebody gave him a track, the founder of our ministry, got saved and gave him a track and he read it and then heard Billy Graham and got saved. And today we have great grace world outreach. I mean, listen tonight. Don't 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 stop giving out tracks. Don't stop being fervent. Don't don't stop because it's closer now than ever before.